Hey y'all, hey, this is your girl Jazzy from Jazzy Hair Care. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys or showing you guys how I made my first $1,000 in one day. So that sounds like a lot, but maybe it is, okay? For a small business, $1,000 is like, I won the lotto. I was like, oh my God, can't believe this. Can't believe it. Like I was literally out of my mind and I wanted to make sure that we all experience that. Like I said, we are small business today, but we are not going to be small businesses long. So I'm going to teach you guys the things that I do whenever I'm trying to do a sale or whenever I'm trying to um, get high numbers, high traffic, high volumes. These are the tricks that I use and hopefully they work for you guys. So if you guys want to stick around and stay tuned, make sure you guys like this channel, stick around and let's get talking. Okay, period. <music> So the first thing you need to do and it's the most important is you need to prepare okay thinking about it a thousand dollars in one day depending on your price point and the things that you sell a thousand dollars can mean that you are crazy busy just say just think about if you are selling lip glosses a thousand dollars for a five dollar lip gloss you're gonna be crazy busy so you want to make sure that you prepare in advance before you ever start to run a sale or anything like that because you don't want to play yourself. I did that my first time when I first did my first thousand dollars. I it happened on the fourth of July, y'all, and I was in town with my family, and my phone just kept bing 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 bing, and you and you're seeing this. I be like, yeah, we rich. Drinks on me. Drink drinks on me. It drinks on me. Like you're excited, but then when you get home, you're like, okay, so so it's thousand dollars equates seventy orders and 130 units that's 130 pieces of inventory that you have to either make yourself or that you have to purchase so you want to make sure that you get ready because let me tell you something i was not ready i literally almost died i did die twice i just came back i died twice because i literally long nights early mornings y'all trying to get these orders out i was over caffeinated y'all like my body was shaking like at one point like towards the end of uh like it took me about two weeks like i said i make i sew i label i package everything myself okay i'm a one trick pony over here so it took me a long time in my opinion to get like i said 73 orders plus 100 and what 130 140 units that's a lot to do yourself so i literally was crashing i was burning and it took me about two weeks to get everything down now a lot of the customers were cool about it but there were some who messaged me hey i ordered this on the fourth um it's the 14th girl where you at and i have to apologize like hi i'm so sorry i'm trying to mess it i can't my little fingers is, you know like you have to tell them so you have to prepare and you have to get ready now you don't want to prepare everything just think about your heavy hitters right you think about what sells the most like for me my adjust the puffs sell the most my scrunchies sell the most so i now moving forward i so heck of adjust the puffs i so heck of this so that i'm at least a little bit ready so the first thing i'm going to tell you guys to do is prepare so the next tip is to get bigger ticket items on your site right so I don't know what field you're in, but you need to have at least one or two items that are more expensive, maybe more of a higher quality, a bigger or something like that so that people can, while they're buying this, they can throw this in and throw this in. So you won't have to work as hard. So you can try to work, you know, smarter, not harder, right? So let's just say, because a lot of people are doing like uh, lip glosses and lashes and things like that. So what, on average, a lip gloss is like three to five bucks, right? You can't sell them too high because people be like, girl... I can go to the weave store and get this for a dollar stop paying me right so you don't want to make your prices too high on those things so it's going to you know deter certain uh customers from coming right so let's just say a three dollar lip gloss and you got a hundred orders you were like oh my god a hundred orders is a huge milestone there are small businesses that never hit a hundred orders so you just hit a hundred orders on those three dollar lip glosses so you pumped but in actuality, that's only $300. See, like, I'm going to be working like a slave for $300. And that's not even profit because you're going to have to re-up on your gel, on your oil, your fragrance, your tube. So you're going to have to re all the way up. And so your profit is going to be smaller because 
it's smaller. I mean, it's, you know, a smaller ticket item. So now if you were to add like a purse, maybe for $25, maybe a sunglasses for maybe like $15, $20, something like that. So that way your orders can just be a little bit more higher and getting to that thousand dollar mark will be a little bit more realistic, right? Right. Also something to do, I think uh, I see a lot of people doing is doing bundle deals, right? So get four lip glosses for 20 bucks or get a lip gloss, a hat and this and that for $50. So add bundle deals to drive people to you. They're like, girl, this price is too good to pack. I mean, I gotta get this. It's only $50 and you get all this stuff. I gotta get it. Like people are very impulsive. So if you get bundle deals, they think they're saving money, you saving time and boom, that's it. So try to get bigger ticket items. Like for me, I know when I made my first thousand, a lot of my products, uh, range like i said my, my heavy hitter is my just a puff so that range is that's 12 dollars, right so when i first made my a thousand dollars um i had 140 130 units to make so that was a lot of units to make but now i have bigger ticket items on my site so now i have hair pieces and things like that so some of my hair pieces range for 60 dollars. so the second time or the third time i made my thousand dollar day I didn't have to work too hard. I only had, what, 17 orders this time. I only had 17 orders this time because my 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 ticket items were bigger. So try to get as many things as you can. I know we're small, and I know, you know, you don't have to buy a lot. Just make sure you get a good vendor. So when, if and when, let's say when, you do sell those bigger ticket items, if you don't have it on hand, that you can easily order them. Just have your ducks in a row. Um, cause I, like I said, I know it's hard to get inventory on bigger ticket items if you're not making it yourself. Um, so, you know, just, just have your ducks in a row, have your vendors on standby. Hopefully they're not from China. So the shipping time is not long. So, you know, just, just plan ahead. But yeah, if you don't have a bigger ticket item on your site, you better find one. Okay. So these tips are, this next tip is pretty much standard i think everyone knows this tip already but that's doing ads on facebook and instagram right so those are very 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 much needed you have to spend money to make money because at the end of the day you're a nobody listen girl i ain't even trying to call you out like that that's not what i'm saying but on some realness a lot of us are starting businesses with not a huge social media follower we think all of our facebook friends and family are going to support us we think our family is going to be our number one supporters but they're not Okay, when I first launched, I'm going to say maybe like five of my friends and family bought something. The rest were completely strangers. So let's just ask that right now. Your friends and family are not going to be your number one supporters. You need to get that out your mind right now. So at the end of the day, you need to find these fresh new customers. So I recommend doing Facebook ads and Instagram ads. Now for me, this is the difference between Facebook, Facebook and Instagram. Facebook... I think, I mean, they all are one, you know, but Facebook, I feel like more people talk and more people look. So if, if you want more views, as far as like more interaction, I feel, I feel like Facebook is the way to go. Facebook, when I, when I do an ad on Facebook, people are talking, oh girl, look at this girl. Oh, uh, they're talking to me more. I don't know how much leads I really get from there. Like, I feel like I got a few orders there, but Instagram they're I feel they're more inclined to buy so they're like oh this is nice to so click on your page or click on your Instagram you know what I'm saying so it's important to do both I like to do both but in regards to really like getting a big chunk of money that's not where you're going to get the money from that's where you're going to get your followers from that's where you're going to get you know a few orders here and there from for sure but as far as like an instant bing 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 bing, bing that's not where you're going to get your money from but it's also very much important because you need to get you need to have these people, they probably can't buy today, but they can buy tomorrow or next week, right? When they check here. So do the ads. You have to do the ads. You can't make money if you don't spend money. So get that out your little head. You have to, you have to, it's part of the game. Okay. So this point I think is the most important point that really helped me out and it's very crucial and you got to take your time on this. So for me, we just went over promotion and promos. You should try to find a promo page to promote on, on Instagram. This is how I got most of my followers. This is how I got my bing, 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 bing 
orders because I found a page with a good following and she posted my ad on her page and like I said I posted on the 4th of July my phone was going off all the 4th of July girl my phone was a fireworks okay my phone was literally ding, 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 ding. it was so exciting it's such a thrill to hear your phone go off every two seconds so make sure you try to find a page whatever industry you're in so if you're in the hair industry try to find a hair page if you are in the makeup industry try to find a makeup page but here's the thing you better make sure you do your research because a lot of these people are buying followers and i learned that the hard way okay a lot of these people are buying their followers so here are a few things that i do when i um am trying to find a page to promote on rule number one make sure you you look at their their followers because instantly we're going to see oh 360,000 period poo that's a lot of followers but get in there and start to look the, at the people following her a lot of them can be bots girl a lot of them are bots a lot of them don't even live in america a lot of them are boys like when you see like for me I am, I, my my industry is hair, natural hair. So if I'm looking on your page and it's not that many black girls, why are you lying? Why are you lying for? These are bots, girl. That's not a good page. So stamp out my DMs. Um, yeah, $50 promo. No, you're not about to get my promo because you don't even have real people. So that is for sure number one. Look into their people. And if you don't see like a lot of people who look like, your your target demographic girl keeps scroll scrolling. Secondly, look on their page. So if they have three hundred and sixty thousand followers, their interaction should be top, right? So look at when they post a video. Look at how many people are watching that video. If their views are like two thousand, nah, be something they write. You got to get the people when you see like three hundred and sixty five thousand. You should get a lot of views, right? Is that correct? So you should see like at least fifty thousand views. 20,000 views you know what I'm saying so look at the views and also look at the likes see who are liking them see if there's real people liking them I always, I always see how many black people liking this right because I'm in the natural hair care game so I'm like, how many sisters how many sisters is liking this because I'm going to make sure I get my little money's worth so yeah so see how many likes they get and see how many views they get if the views and uh they get a little bit of views and they got a lot of followers the math and they math it okay something ain't right so don't even send your little ducats over there girl because you about to get scammed i don't like that we ain't about to get scammed in 2021 baby we got we got a few more months left we're trying to get rich in three months we ain't got time to get scammed so that's very important what is this third thirdly thirdly make sure you see the interaction see what kind of people are posting i love getting on pages where you see like 100 comments and like 30 comments so you know these people are active you know these girls is talking oh look at her oh i want to get my hair like this okay, okay, okay. like if they're really talking about real stuff then you know that's a good page also look at them comments if you ever see oh promote here send this page here send this to this promote 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 if you always see those scams in their comment section they bought a lot of their followers, okay? But if you spend your money there and you don't get no interaction, you know, it's going to just hurt you in the long run. So make sure you do your due diligence and look at these pages. But this information is key into getting those bing, 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 where your phone is lighting up sales all day, okay? So the next tip that I like to do in regards to those pages, whenever I find those pages that I want to promote on, I literally infiltrate the damn internet okay so if i am going to do if i know i'm gonna uh, run a promotion i'm gonna run a promotion or an ad on three pages i do it minimally three pages and i know you're thinking girl we ain't got the budget you can because a lot of these sites a lot of these pages so this is what i do you get a higher one so a higher one who maybe got four hundred thousand followers they're probably going to be like seventy dollars and up for like a 24 hour or a permanent page right i have a lady um, I pay $75 for a 24, 25, uh, 24 hour post, but she legit, she is the main one that I post on because her followers are very interactive, right? So she's the main one. She's the highest it's one. It's the I one that's in the middle. So you got your $75 one, try to find you a $40 one. So she's probably going to have 200,000 or 150,000 followers, right? So get your medium one. Then you get the small ones. The small ones probably only have like 25,000 or like 40,000. But if you, like I said, you do your research, do your due diligence, their, her, the likes is good. Their interaction is good. So her people are live, even though she got a small, um, following 
her following is active. So you got your $75, you got your $40, and then you got your $15, $20. You have to, like I said, you got to spend money to make money. So you do that. You ask these girls and you ask them, can I post on, you have a spot for Friday. She say yes, post it Friday. Ask the next girl, you got to post for Friday, 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 Friday. Try to get all your all your posts on that same day. Different times, of course, so you can pretty much, your traffic to your site is consistent all day. Get one in the morning, get one in the afternoon, get one in the evening, right? Ask these people, ask also something to note. Ask these people, where are their followers based? Can I see your demographics? A lot of people, a lot of the pages are, you know, based in overseas. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the girls that I'm based in, she's based in the UK, but a lot of her followers are in the United States. So I ship a lot to the UK and, but I ship a lot in the United States, mostly East Coast. I have a lot of East Coast. So for her, I know I like to post in the morning time or in the afternoon because I'm in California. So the time difference is what, three hours ahead. So I like to get my post in early with her. But like I said, try to infiltrate that day that day you are going to see nothing but your promo and you're going to see them leads coming in you're going to see them followers coming in you're going to see that traffic there's nothing better when you go look on your your page and you see like 20 active people on your page you know what i'm saying 17 people got stuff in their car so it's nothing that that feeling is amazing so make sure to follow these steps so you can feel it too okay <laughs> okay next try to post on a friday okay that's when a lot of people get paid that's when their money is fresh you know when we first get paid like mm, i gotta eat something nice what i got up in my cart at amazon because i got money now so people like to spend when they first to get their little monies right when that direct deposit is hot and fresh however don't try to post nothing by um by the rents okay don't do that because you already know they're gonna be like uh um no but they will like your stuff they will like it and they'll you know circle back around but anything close to the fifth or something like that don't even play with yourself don't even play yourself but fridays are key that's when people get paid most people get paid and like super sense said don't assume everybody got money like you don't assume everybody got just money in the bank that they can just buy whenever they want uh i wish but you know people like to spend when they get money so always for sure post on a friday baby okay so this is the last tip and i know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be thinking like i don't know about this one offer a sale right i know what you guys are thinking i'm already too small i need all the ducats that i can but people are more inclined to buy something from you when they know they can get a little bit of discount off even if it's 10 percent, 15 percent. now me i played myself because i ran a fourth of july sale so i think i gave 30 percent off for like 40 percent off so even though i hit a thousand dollars that time i was like i kind of made so much more money i this is a big discount this is kind of like a black friday discount i played myself but i still hit what i needed to hit but moving forward whenever i'm trying to do it i'll offer like a 15 20 to 20 percent discount but that's it but always 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 offer some sort of a discount because people it, once they see they can get some money off they gonna buy it okay i don't care how much it is you'd be like 17 dollars Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, it's $14 now. Where my cord at? You know, that's just what they do. So always offer a sale and you will be able to get more followers that way. It's going to work. It's going to happen. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Hopefully that helps you guys. Hopefully you guys are next to get this $1,000 day. Never get discouraged, okay? Your time is your time. Your customers are your customers. There's nobody who can take your customers from you. Even though people come to your site and don't buy nothing, that's just not a customer that you want. People who really believe in your product and believe in you will buy from you, no matter how high your price is, because they see the quality and they see the effort that you are putting in. So never get discouraged. But hopefully, you will get your um, $1,000 day or $5, $500 day um, very soon. And I hope all these tips help. And again, it's your girl Jazzy. If you guys like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Holla at your girl. Leave me a comment. Like I said, we small businesses today. But baby, we ain't gonna be small businesses long. All right. Bye.